Welcome to the Blueberry Wizard Power Hour. This is your host, Joshua York. Where do we begin? Well, we begin at the beginning. Or as many people do, we start at the end. What is it we want in life? Well, of course, the answer is happiness. But what gives one person happiness? What gives one person happiness is different than what gives another person happiness. And what's more is that what gives me, what I anticipate will give me happiness in the, in the present day, five, ten years from now, that will not be the same thing that I'm thinking will give me happiness. So our pursuit for happiness involves an evolving understanding. How can I give my future self happiness? How can I be happy now? in spite of whatever circumstance I find myself in. Ultimately, happiness for a human is a paradox because if everything is an illusion and everything is mind, then ultimately the agency through which happiness is experienced is a fiction. But we've all been pleased We've all been feeling happy before. So <laughs> as ephemeral as it may be, happiness that is, it's a reality that we pursue. We want to be happy. I want to do all love. I want to have a lot of money. And then be able to share that money with interesting ideas and interesting people. Create interesting businesses with which to help evolution, help humanity. Begin at the end. You know what I learned? I learned that humans and livestock, their cows, their pigs, their goats, and their dogs and cats, account for 98% of the total mass of mammals on earth so if you go all over the land and you took all of the mammals and you weighed them 98 percent of that weight would be either humans cows that we've raised or pigs any of that that's a big deal it's a big deal I begin at the end I think there should be more vegetarians on the earth. Pound for pound, there's more cows than people. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of tortured animals. Some of them are treated okay. My intent isn't to get on a rant about vegetarianism. My intent is to have a starting place. Here. Now, and this starting place is going somewhere. <laughs> and with my finite mind, my finite body, my infinite mind trapped in my finite body, I assume if I'm going somewhere, then there's a destination. Somewhere I'm going to. But that, that's just an illusion. It's a fiction. There's nowhere to go to. And yet, paradoxically, there is somewhere. We make effort in the present day to give our future selves gifts. The work we do today is doing favors for our future self. You can't very well do very good work without a vision of how to accomplish that work. I mean, generally, of course, you know, karma yogis, feeding the poor, there's always going to be poor to be fed. But even that, newer and better ways to feed the poor. Welcome to Earth. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to yourself. That's all 
on your hands. But don't fret. Can't really can't really do anything wrong. God's got it taken care of. You can just let go. Let go of your worry. You've got a brilliant mind. But that brilliant mind comes with a, a request. Feed me. Learn. You must learn. Learn.